Hello, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well today and I hope you guys are ready for a really fun lesson. So today we are going to talk about cards and different tricks and tips that we can use to kind of create really fun cards and interactive cards, pop-up cards, things like that. So we'll start with the pop-up or it's more, yeah, like a pop-out element. Um, and this is one that I've done in a couple of my classes for kids. We've done it at Christmas time to create stacks of presents and we've done it around Halloween to create a haunted house. So it's really, um, it's really easy and it is very versatile too. So you can add all sorts of things with this one, but it's a tiered system. So it's a pop out tiered system and you can use a ruler to kind of measure out your tiers. I kind of freehanded mine real quick just for this, but um, just to share how this is done. So this is going to be drawn on the outside of the card and you'll want to do it down towards the fold. So you'll draw your tiers however many you want. You just want to make sure that whenever you're folding this, this is popped out when it's folded. So you want to make sure that it doesn't exceed over your um, card length. So just keep that in mind. But we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So we're going to start just by cutting the slits on that first tier, just on the sides there. And then this element can then get pushed back into the inside of the card. And then you're going to fold. So you want your edges to still be like a normal card fold. But this one that you cut is going to pop out towards you. So that's a little tricky to get started. But once we get it started, then it's pretty good. And you'll fold that up and you'll crease it. Crease it in. So it's popped up in there. So then when it opens, it folds out. So you'll just do that same thing then to each tier. So with, you don't want to cut the other ones though on the bottom. You just want to continue up through the top. So you'll hold that fold there and you'll cut your slits from that inside section. And then you'll fold You'll pop that section out and that'll fold. So it can either have a lip in there, it can just be a solid shape. Mine has the smallest lip, so it's going to be a little tricky. Kind of a back and forth situation that you have to go go through. Whew. Okay. So then that pops out there, and then those sides stick. <laughs> so that pops out, and then you'll just do that same thing to the last. Here. And then that pops up. And then folds back in. So now you have these tiers, and you can add elements to these things that you've drawn on other papers, and you can add elements, you can have it be like a pyramid for like a cheerleading squad. So you can have people down there holding people up here, holding people up here, and then have a flyer. If you wanna do something like that, that's just a little idea. Or you can turn it into a birthday cake or a stack of presents like we had done in our classes. So that's a fun little pop-up way. Kind of based on that, you can also use this for other shapes such as a heart. So you'll start with a folded card, you'll draw a heart shape, and then you're gonna cut it, but you're gonna leave this part uncut. 
So kind of towards the tip end of the heart, you'll want to leave that attached. So you'll just cut this part out, leaving that part attached. So then when you open it, you have a heart that can then pop out this way, just like that. And you can decorate it however you want it. This one just says thank you in there, but then that pops out. One thing that you want to make sure though is that it doesn't exceed out the edge there of your card. Mine does a little bit. I'm not too bothered by it. So, but just keep that in mind. This can also be something that's an added element as well. So you could cut out a heart, but um, also cut out a tab in that same section there that's attached. It can be a tab that you then attach to another piece of paper. So that all depends on if you want the exposed back, if you don't want an exposed back, then it can be a, an added element with a tab. But then that could just be placed inside of more of a cardstock. And if it's a different color, then that will be a different color. So I just have white for paper, but if you guys have fun colors, feel free to use those fun colors. So that's a really great one. I am kind of in love with that. Another thing that you can do is have little animals or people that kind of pop up. This works really well for animals. We'll talk about that. And this can be any animal. So this is kind of one for a sheep, but what you'll need is back legs, front legs, the body, the head, and if there's a tail, you'll wanna add a tail to it as well. So you want your legs um, to be roughly the same size. You can do one, cut it out, and then trace the other one, so that way you have an even set of legs. And then for the body, it'll just be a square, but you'll wanna make sure that you leave tabs on the top and the bottom here. And those are gonna be what attach your legs. So the body then attaches to both of these legs, and then your head, and then your, um, oh, I just put my elbow in glue. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you'll just have those different elements. You can color them um, while they're still on the page. That might be the easiest, and then you'll just cut those out. So whenever you cut those out, you then piece it together. So I did a little cap for this one. So this has the tail attached to the back legs. The bottom part of the legs are folded in. Okay, those are gonna end up being your tabs that you glue down to the card. So the body, I put those tabs, I glued the back to the back legs and then the front to the front legs. And then the face is glued on to the front of those legs. So all of those elements then were cut out and then placed like that. So for your card, what you'll want to do is glue the butt of the animal, whatever animal you pick. Like I said, this can work for all of the animals. You wanna make sure that you get the feet on there too. If you wanna leave the tail unattached, then that can be another little element that you add. So you'll wanna glue this then to the fold. You'll wanna make sure that those feet line up with the fold of the card. And then have that, those back legs glued down to the back. So then it just kind of sticks up like that, but it folds over. So you see how it's attached? And then with the front, you'll just put a little bit of glue onto those front legs there, those little tabs that we folded, set it up, and then that's where those tabs, those feet are gonna stick to. I don't think I got glue on that one. So you'll wanna let that dry. If you have double-sided tape, you can always use that too, or if you have glue dots. But you want to let that set before you start playing around with it. But then the idea is that it'll fold in and then when you open your card, it'll pop up. 
Another thing that you can do for pop-ups is to add an accordion to the back of the object and then whenever the cart opens, it'll pop out. So depending on the size of the object and how far you want it to pop out is gonna depend on how long your paper strip is gonna be for the accordion. So this is just a strip, just to show you guys, but you'll fold the paper back and forth, just like an accordion. And then that'll help. And then you just glue front tab to the object, back tab to the card, and then it'll pop out. So I did this little sun here. So I like to draw the object onto the card as well as have it pop out just to create a little bit of um, depth, a little bit more depth there. And then all the intricate details of the rays of the sun, I just left on the card. I didn't feel like cutting those out. So this is just the center part of the sun. So this is a small object. So I have a really small accordion for that but I've attached that end to there. So I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue to this part, this side, and then glue that right over the sun area there. Kind of squeeze that down. And then that part pops out. So whenever they open that up, it'll just be a little nice dynamic little pop-up there. And then that can then be glued into your card. So that's a really fun way. And then one more way is like more of an interactive way. So these are fun. I used to make these kind of cards a lot. So this one's a little old, it's a little aged. But if you have your objects in here, I like to make things where the doors open. A lot of you guys have seen, you know, some of your kids' books have items like this, elements like this. So this has an oven that then opens up and then the cat is baking. So it's holding a tray that then can slide in and out. So to do that, I just added a tab for the door. So that way that can open. I cut a slit along the opening of where the oven is. So that way this baking sheet can then slide in and out. Um, you'll wanna use a thick piece of paper for whatever element is getting slid or moved, you'll wanna use something that's stiff so that way it has a little bit, um, it, it won't fold up or crumble or anything like that. And it'll be able to move. But then on the back here is the tab for the arm. And so that allows that arm to move. Like I said, this one's a little old, so the tab has gotten a little worn, but you can see how the arm slides like that. So those elements can be drawn on a piece of paper and then added to your card, or you can draw directly onto the card and then just see where those extra elements that you're gonna add that are interactive can kind of play around with those. So those are just some really kind of simple, fun, easy ways to make your cards a little bit more dynamic and um, a lot of fun. So I encourage you guys to write cards to the medical staff. You guys can send cards to Blessing or Quincy Medical Group. Um, if you have people in nursing homes, uh, you can send them to people in nursing homes. Even if you don't know them, you might be able to just send a couple of cards just to cheer up their days. And yeah, think of anybody else that you want to make cards for and just send them out. Start sending them out. Um, like always, share what you guys create. Tag at Quincy Art Center. And I hope you guys have a really great, wonderful day.